Hello, how are you? I'm going to show you our brand new CVC books. These are for beginners. Um, if you have the old stages or have seen our stages before, this is stage one and two combined into new books. So they're so much easier to use. They follow a much more logical order. Um, you only have three pages of cutouts. So I've cut out the little tiles here. So you've got your CVC pictures. You've got your pictures with animals and diagraphs and your animals there with all the letter sounds diagraphs and more CVC words, including diagraphs. So we've got the cutouts. They don't come cut out, you need to do that, uh, but there's minimal cutting out to do. They come with the two white clean pages. So this makes all the activities in here reusable. You just put your plastic sleeve in there, you write on there and then can wipe it clean. So I'll show you that soon. Now I found these at Kmart. Um, so you can use your cutouts. If you don't feel the need to do cutting out, these were $12 and they come with um, multiple lower and uppercase letters. So I'm gonna try that with this pack. I've got my markers here as well. Um, you can actually get this pack with the two books by themselves or you can get the two books into folders, which I don't have with me right now, but it also comes with the pack of markers. So you basically get the set whole, um, all together ready to go. All right. So let me pull this one for the moment. We'll just focus on the CVC book, personalized. Um, if you want to use this with your class, you can just choose to leave the name blank. So you've got your outcomes there and the instructions for each activity. Now we're working through um, at, so, so working through the letters, sorry, it's not A, B, C, it's at, but, cut. So we really want our little ones to understand that from the beginning. We go quite slowly, it's very repetitive, and we remove um, the references and the letters as we go, allowing your little one to manipulate the pages and um, put the letters on, yeah, and then match up the animals and whatever else. So we've made it fun, we've made it so you can manipulate the pages either by writing on them, so this one here is a reference one, then we move through and the letters are gone so that's when we use our letters here or our cutouts and then the prompts are removed on the next step so we don't have the reminders here but we've still got the same pictures to work through and then we're adding in the pictures here because we've got the letters at but cut um so let me go from the beginning here and so we're saying the picture and starts with the sound at bat starts with the sound but Cat starts with the sound k. We can match them up as we go. At, but, k, d. Um, otherwise, you've got your letters in here as well. I separated my vowels, so we've got it there. At, I've made the vowels pink, so they're easy to recognise. All right, so let's shift them off. And I'll show you the white clean. As you're, so if you're starting with little ones, you're not going to be getting them to, particularly under fours, writing the letters. Um, that's when I would recommend you using the letter tiles and whether you've got wooden letters, magnetic letters, whatever you've got there. But if you are using it with your old ones, um, basically because you want to teach the concept, as soon as you bring in handwriting, you're bringing in fine motor skills. Also for our under fours, the bones in their hands, their muscles are not developed properly, they shouldn't be holding pens. So if you are going to do it, do it with something chunky or use your reference ones and then set up a sand tray or a rice tray. Have that here so they can copy it into the rice tray. Yeah? All right, so. Ant, ant starts with the sound app. Bat starts with the sound. But, oh sorry, that's my Victorian handwriting. Let's go. I did do this video before in Victorian, but New South Wales is our most popular, so I thought I'd better redo it. So this is where we're, and again, my Victorian letter. Sorry. This is where we are um, writing in on our white clean page. I've just got a wet cloth and look, it's fine. So it, it just means all of this is reusable. You can, if you want to, go through and just use it on paper, but it means um, you can only use it once unless you've got the digital version you can keep printing. But save the trees. Um, all right, so we go through the whole alphabet here. We do have fox. I've got fox ends with the sound x, yes? Um, because you can use x-ray or x-ray fish, but it actually changes the sound to x, not x. So just thought I'd point that one out. Then this, we've removed the prompts. So go through again with your letter. So we really are focusing on that repetition. All right, let me go through a bit more. So we've got our 
animals here. Oh, that's a stray M. And there's some unusual animals in here. Where's my Anu, which is my sloth? But it was very hard to find a creature starting with up. Oh, there we go. And now, I think that's how you say it. Um, let's go to a different page because we've done that one. K. So I have a koala in here somewhere. Koala starts with K. There we go. Oh, what animal did I choose? Was it a llama? I can't remember. I've not looked at this one for a while. Lion. Lion starts with the sound all. There you go. And again, going through. Then we have this one. So I've got all my pictures here. I'm going to match up my letters. I'm going to use the um, foam ones just because they're fun. A bit more tactile, I suppose. Okay. But, but for bat, cut for cat. And as we're going and as you're doing it with your little ones, model that language. Yeah. So instead of just matching it up, yes, I got it right, but d for dog. Et for elk, f for fish. Again, remembering the sound, not the name of the letter. G for gull, h for horse, and so on and so forth. And then we've got the letters. So I'm going to match up my animals. I've got an iguana and a pig. You see that there? A dog tiger and look you don't have to do it in order as long as you match them up j gull zebra ostrich elk there you go and then i love these pages so these ones again are great for your little ones either to put the plastic over and hang on let's try this i've got my paint stick markers i don't think they work so well on the um plastic but Still, it's tracing the letter. And then wipe it off. You can't see, it's not that dark. Uh, but if you did that with a sand tray or a rice tray, bring some sensory play into it. Again, as you're writing it, at for ants. And we go through all the animals there. If it happens to be a CVC word, dog, we can. I'm just gonna go for these ones because they're easier to grab. D, whoops. D, O, G. So again, sounding it out, d o g makes dog. If you haven't been through the book before, I'd probably skip these ones until you get to the end, do a bit more of the putting words together, then come back and do these. But just letting you know that they are there. So we go through the whole alphabet again. And then we come into building CVC words. So we've got h a t makes hat, b a g makes bag, Atten makes pen. And we've got a whole range of letters with your vowels A, E, I, O, and U. And then we go through again, but we're removing that first letter. Yeah? So we're creating the word. Where's my h? Huh, huh, there we go. H, h, at makes hat. And I've removed that prompt there as well. So we're bringing spelling and reading into it as well. Um, I forgot to say before, when we're breaking down the words, h at t, that's segmenting. h at t makes hat. That's reading and blending and putting it back together. Yeah? So that's what this whole book is about. So you go through all of those words again, and then we remove the vowel, and then we remove the last consonant. Oh, CVC is consonant, vowel, consonant. Yeah? Your vowels, A, E, I, O, U, and your consonants are all the other letters. And then we, yeah, I just said that before, removing the last one. And then we've got the pictures. Let's go over here. Um, you will remember by this stage what each one is. Sometimes you can't tell whether that was red or paint. Um, obviously, it's red because we're doing CVC words. But we've used that example a ton of times beforehand with the prompts at the very beginning. Somewhere. There we go. So the prompts were in the first stage here. By now, we've practiced it that many times that it shouldn't be too much of a surprise what word we're actually working on. So we've got er, et, d, web, what, et, I'm going to put you there, and but Again, we can bring in our white clean sheet and practice writing, uh, particularly with our over fours. So we've got t. I'm just sticking to my Victorian. I default back to it anyway. 
They vote to output, makes tap. What? Oh, that was my paint stick from the last one I just did. There we go. And then this one, we have the vowel and consonant, but we can put different letters in front. Some, most will be nonsense words, that's fine as well. Bab, rab, hab, maybe we could sort out the nonsense words on this side, so the letters that make nonsense words, and then put the words, either leave them on there and move on to the next one, or put them in a separate pile. I will leave that entirely up to you. Nab is a proper word, I'm gonna leave that there. Dab, where's a d? I can make, or dab, sorry. D at d makes dad. B at g makes bag. Um, another thing you can do, b at g, g at g, gag. Um, t, t at g, so they're all rhyming words, yeah? When you change the consonant at the beginning, but keep the vowel and the second consonant the same. So you've got a stack of different words, uh, different combinations to make different words there. Then we've got our another rhyming word one. So we're going to put our picture. Let's put a picture of our dog. And d, hang on. Oh my goodness, that way. D, o, g. And let's put my plastic sheet here. And what rhyming words can we do? So we know the rhyming word has to end in o, g. So let's go bog, log. Tog, togs, that's bathers over east. I don't know if tog in itself is a word. Um, whether you're doing nonsense words or not, let's just stick it in there. Dog, tog, rog, mog, fog, fog's a word. And sog is not a word, but we'll just do it as a nonsense word. There we go. And wiping it clean again. And then you can change your word at the top. Can you see how reusable this is? Um, and interchangeable between all the different letters and pictures. All right, and then we've got just our vowels. So this is free for you to use and make a ton of different words, whether you choose for them to be rhyming words. Ha, uh, de, had, remember spelling them out, sounding them out as we go, and then reading the word. H ad had er ag rag s ag sag uh b ag bag m a d mad yeah all right and then you've got your a e i o n up I skipped there again you can use with your white clean plastic sheet if you want to now we've got our spelling. So this is moving towards the older age groups. Um, so you know, after you've done all this, where they are more confident or old enough for writing. Again, if they are younger, chuck your plastic sheet on there, put some paint and maybe do finger painting, yeah? To write your words or just chunky uh, paintbrushes. For this one, we are going to put a CVC word, probably one that you haven't worked on in the book. Oh, hang on, that's why I did these. Here we go, we've got all our CVC words here. I forgot I'd done them. Oh, hang on, and I've got some stray letters in there too. Oops, let's move here. That's from my Victorian set. All right, so I'm going to choose Fox. We'll stick that there. I'll move you over. This time I'm going to write, you can do it with or without the pictures. Oh. And then I can practice on my dotted thirds here. I can practice my rhyming words. Fox, box, socks is spelt differently. I will leave it at that. Then you can change your CVC, whoops, your CVC word. This one is a rhyming, uh, sorry, a matching game in partners. So the first player will choose one of our CVC words here. Oops, something just fell on the floor then. Uh, gum, so I'm player one, I put in gum. Now player two has to spell out the word, yeah? So I'll go back to these letters. G, up, which will be a vowel, which will be pink. 
if that's not the one I just dropped on the floor. There we go. Get a mm. Looking for an mm in here. There we go. Get a mm. And then if you get it correct, you take turns. Yeah? Alright. <laughs> then, um, sorry in advance for this. It is really hard to write stories that make sense with CVC words. So, Bob went in a red van with Kip the dog. So we've got Bob and Kip the dog. The vet pet Bob, but said he's a bit fat. He had to run, not nap. Look, he look cranky. Bob and Kip went home and had fun in the sun. So with these as well, there's they're made up of mostly CVC words. So we're getting our little ones to b of b Bob and Kip. Yep. So sounding out each letter because um, they're the they're the CVC words that we've been working on. So they went home and had fun in the sun. Oh, hang on, I've mixed up the page. That page is supposed to go this side. I've just found this one. Whoops, I will fix that soon. All right, and then we've got our story. So you've read my brilliant story. So we then choose, say a van. I think I had this based on the van, the cat and the sun. Let's go dog. I am trying to find my letters down the bottom of this. Our picture, sorry. Where's my dog? Oh, look, I can't find it. It's in there somewhere. So we'll go back. So we then put our plastic on the page and then write a story using these three CVC words. Yeah, I won't bore you with that right now. And then in the back here, you've got a stack of all your CVC words. This doesn't include nonsense words. So if there's any that you want to check, which I didn't, I, yeah, forgot I had this in there before. Um, you can check it here. All right. I hope this is useful to you. Um, in a separate video, I'll run through the digress one. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.